วัสดีค่ะสวัสดีเจ้า Hello and welcome to Thai Girl Talk with Mia from Learn to Speak Thai and Lonnie from Tell Thai Heart. I got a question from one of our listener. Ah, uh. this is really interesting, and I experienced this situation myself a few days ago. So, mm-hmm. the situation was a few days ago. I had a meeting with uh, one of the writer. She lives in Chiang Mai and she's from America. Um, we had lunch. At the end of the conversation, you know, when we're ready to pay the bill, she offered me to pay the bill. Okay. So I had a feeling like maybe she offered it because she know the Thai culture. Do you oh. know? You know this Thai culture, Lani? No, I don't think so. Yes, this culture. It's about who's going to pay the bill. Well, usually the older person pay the bill. Oh. Go out. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> you order by age, or your social status is higher. You seems to make more money. You usually has to pay the bill. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, that really fits in to the way Thais view having the foreigner or f o r e i g n price versus the Thai price. They believe foreigners have more money. So they get the extra price, <laughs> right? Yeah, these two pricing system. It's also interesting to talk about. It's a big subject, so we'll just keep it for some other time. So I mentioned to um, this writer. I told her that please don't feel like you have to do this because you're in Thailand and I am Thai. I told her that you know I understand the culture different. So let's just split the bill. And she insist. She said, No, 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 no. Please, please. So, to be polite, you know, I I cannot really insist more than that. Mm-hmm. I have to let her pay because in Thai culture as well, if someone who younger or lower social status try to pay and the other person say no, you have to stop there. You know, you you cannot push more than that. Mm-hmm. And this is why a lot of time that you will see if you go to Thai restaurant, you will see that if the younger one wants to pay the bill, you know what they do. <laughs> what do they do? <laughs> well, they just has to go to the cashier and pay directly. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So in this case, like okay, you know the the older one not feel embarrassed. Well. But in a family situation, let's say in my family, for example, if we all go out together with my my mom, my auntie, I often pay for the bill, because mm-hmm. in Thai family, when you are having a job and you start to make money and you supposed to take care of the, your family, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I pay the bill because. I I have a job. I make money, and they have been taking care of me for a long time. So it's my turn to treat them. Mm-hmm. And yes. which is I don't have problem with it. Yay! Yay! Let's order the lobster. Mia's paying. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Lani? Have you ever had any experience like that? Um. Yeah, I've had experience with fighting for the bill. It's kind of nice that the ties have this limit where they where they stop insisting because I've I've had you know some knock down drag out fights with people for paying the bill because I'm insisting and they won't stop and then we end up just nobody will let go. <laughs> right, right. Talked about this. That's why today I want to give a little bit of the useful phrases that everybody can use when they come to Thailand. A few episodes ago, we talked about how to get the attention of like seller in the market, right, or waitress in the restaurant. Yes. If he or she is younger than you, you would say, n o n g k a And if they are older, and you have to be careful, you have to really know. Then you say pika. If you're not sure, you can just use k o t o t which right. is mean sorry or excuse me, right? Mm-hmm. So k o t o t ka or k o t o t k r a p Okay. And sometimes you might hear the Thai saying really, really short. Excuse me. They will say t o t ka, t o t k r a p All right. Then when you are sitting in a restaurant, and that's how you will get their attention. If they are too busy or if they don't see you. So you could use that, and what if you want to ask for menu? Call menu, m i c a Call menu, k a Okay, that's Call. all. That's right. Because you use m i c a at the end, it's 
become may I have a menu? Is that right? Oh, okay. okay. Right, because call is a polite request. For example, call Coca Cola, <laughs> call beer. Right. So, may I have a beer? May I have a Coca Cola? This is already a question. So you will not double the questions. Okay. So call menu. Call menu. Ka. Right. Call menu. Crap. If you're a man. And this is what you will hear a lot when they come back to your table and ready to take your order. What you have heard, Lani? a u r i d i k a This is interesting. You say the word a u because call is polite request, and a u also a request but less formal. Mm -hmm. So you can say this in a casual restaurant, just a food store on the street. Mm -hmm. a u beer, a u pad Thai. Yes, maybe they might say a u arai di ka, or if they want to be a little. Polite, a little formal. They might say, "Rap, a r i d i ka." Rap, a r i d i ka. That will be the questions for you. Let's say if Lani, you have a menu in your hands and they just walking by, they don't seem to come your way. Yes, you can get their attention by um, saying the phrase that we talked about early on on the episode, or you can say this, "Sang a h a n Oh, crap. Right. Okay, ready, ready to eat food. Ready to order. Ready to order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sang mean to order, and mm -hmm. ahan mean food. You can do this. Nong nong, sang ahan, crap. Now I've said just sang, or I've said prom ka. I've said like I'm ready, like prom. Ah, prom, right? Prom, prom mean ready. Is that okay? p r o m i s you ready? Like if I'm picking you up and I say Lani coming down, and you say I'm ready, p r o m ka, but okay. not for food, no. Okay, so I should say sang ahan ka. That's right, sang ahan ka, sang ahan krab, and that will be the phrase that will get food on your table. Lani, let's review all the conversation today. How about if I say it in English and your answer is in Thai? What do you okay. Think? Yeah. Okay. okay. So imagine everyone, you are uh, in the restaurant, and you want to order food, and you you sit down, but the waitress or waiter didn't pay attention to you. How would you get their attention? k a t o k a That's right. Or. n o n g k a n o n g k a or n o n g k r a p If you are a man, right? Yes. Okay. Then they turn your way and look at you, and you would like to ask for menu. Call menu, ka. Call menu, crap. That's right. Okay. Then they give you a menu, and they come back and they're ready to take your order. This is what they will ask. If I'm in the casual restaurant and I don't need to be polite, I'm just gonna use the word a u Remember, a u is a request. Okay, so a u a r i d i ka, right? Mm -hmm. And if I want to be a little formal, I would say rap a r i d i ka. Rap a r i d i ka. Rap means to receive. Okay. What would you like to receive? <laughs> If you translate it, it would be like that. If I Gave you a menu and I just forgot about you and I didn't come back. How would you get my attention? Like I'm ready to order. Sang ahan ka. Sang ahan k r a p Okay, sang. Sang ahan. s e t lao. Finish. Oh, good. I'm glad I learned that because I've been saying the wrong thing. All right. So now you're gonna say sang ahan ka. Sang ahan ka. Hey, I'm hungry. <laughs> nong nong. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this episode, and we would like to hear from you. Yes, we would. So please let us know what you would like us to talk about. You've got Mia. Mia right. is your teacher. She can <laughs> tell you. So please don't be shy about asking. And any question, any response. On the blog, on Facebook, on Twitter, please feel free to do so. Till the next time. Okay, สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีเจ้า If you don't want to miss a lesson, 
please subscribe and click like to this video. I'll see you next time. สวัสดีค่ะ